guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So I'm so excited because for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of trying out milk makeup. Now, the only thing I've ever used from milk makeup before was just an eyeliner and nothing else. Milk almost seems a little bit gimmicky to me. It's a brand that I always like kind of stare at their display and then don't purchase anything. Um, it also is just a very different brand and I feel like all the cool kids use it and I'm not cool enough to use it. <laughs> yeah, so I saved up some money and I went to Sephora and I picked up everything I needed to create a full face. Definitely not going to do these types of videos very often because this was expensive. I spent like well over $300, um, so I better like everything. <laughs> so I'm going to take you along shopping with me so you can see me picking some things up from the store. So I tried to find my perfect match and none of them match. So yeah. So I'm going to go with medium light. Uh, I don't know how good that is, but we'll try. Then concealer. We will do light medium. Last one. Translucent light powder. Lip and cheek is sold out. Great. Bronzer in baked. And I'm not trying the brow thing. That looks too thick. I know I won't like it. It's not worth my money. <clears throat> I will try... Uh, they don't have my color. Oh, yes, they do. Right here. Yes. This is a brown. Let's see. I'm going to swatch these and see which one I like. So I got everything I needed. So now I'm just going to walk around and look for fun stuff. $200 later. Okay, so actually... That was weeks ago, so all of this stuff has kind of been sitting in my room with just all the releases and stuff. I just haven't gotten around to trying all this stuff out, so you guys have no idea how pumped I am. So the first thing that I picked up was the Luminous Blur Stick. Now, I have tried a sample of their regular Blur Stick, and I wasn't that into it. I don't know why I think I'm going to be into this. So this is like $36, so I better love it because I didn't have the mini. I tried to get the mini and as many things as I could, so I don't even know how to use this luminous blur stick primer I don't know I'm just gonna put it everywhere oh that is glowy maybe probably shouldn't have put it on my pores okay uh oh so she's luminous okay I don't think I'm going to like this this may have to go back <laughs> So this I feel like is a little bit dry on my skin and I have dry skin so it does add a lumen Ooh, actually this does add a really pretty luminosity to my skin that's like very natural like I could wear this without any makeup um I wouldn't put it over here I only did that because it said it was blurring I really don't see anything <laughs> blurring at all but it actually does add a really pretty sheen I don't know that this is worth $36 though I'm going to play with it some more but so far meh. okay so the next thing that I got was foundation so i got the blur liquid the matte foundation blur liquid in medium light i felt like their colors were kind of weird i was going back and forth on what color i was this is what i settled on if my eyelids look pink i just filmed a abh riviera tutorial so i used the hot pink so it's supposed to be full coverage for every skin type and matte i'm actually liking that luminous primer more than i thought i would so i don't know why i just applied so much at once i mean this is like the complete wrong undertone on me actually it's pretty full coverage though i really like the packaging of this it's very mess free so i'm just gonna apply a touch more on the areas that i need some coverage so i definitely when i was trying to find my shade i thought that these had very weird undertones i probably could have gone a shade lighter but this is super yellow on me it'll be fine once the full face is there but this is looking pretty full coverage to me i would say medium to full it's matte i can see a little bit of luminosity peeking through from that primer which is growing on me already so the foundation's actually sitting on my skin very nicely i really like it it looks very natural while having a lot of coverage it doesn't look cakey at all so so far i'm liking that so they did have an eyebrow pencil in their line but it was too thick for me i knew i wasn't going to like it 
it and I didn't feel like wasting my money. So I did pick up the Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Dutch. So this is like a fiber brow gel with some color to it. So I usually don't like these types of products. Um, I do kind of like more of a defined brow, which isn't the vibe for milk. They're much more natural. This is like really messy. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job applying this. I did luckily get my eyebrows done yesterday, so my eyebrows don't really need too much playing with. If I were to use this when my eyebrows were unruly, I don't think this would look as good. So I'm kind of trying to emulate that whole feather brow. As you can see, I like already made a disgusting mess. <laughs> So this is a product that definitely I will need to get used to. I think potentially I could have gone lighter in the shade, but I actually like this. This is really good for a natural brow. It's a little more liquidy than I was expecting, so I have a little bit much product right here, but that was user error. So this definitely has a learning curve. Now I need to clean up this mess. Oh my gosh, do you guys... <laughs> I kind of like it though. I feel like it was really quick. Okay, that looks a little better. This is what I mean. Like this brand is too cool for me. I can't do the feather brow. <laughs> I really can't do this effortless. I spent no time on my makeup. I woke up like this look. It wouldn't be that bad if I didn't like clump up product here. So actually I quite like <laughs> this brow gel. I do think that it's going to take me some practice to really master it. I just pulled it out and just popped it right in the inner half of my eyebrow which is where I want it to be the lightest so that was not smart of me and I don't think this is a product I can use when my brows are not freshly done right now today I actually really do like this I feel like I'm really cool and have a cool kind of feather brow vibe kind of I'm not that cool. Okay, I really like this though. So next I got the Flex Concealer. Something tells me I got a shade that's too dark on me. I got mine in the shade Light Medium. I don't like how their names are right here. So actually that's the perfect shade. Love that. Um, It's not like spreading like butter. So I'm gonna blend that out. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid because it's pink from using hot pink shadow. So I'm really liking this concealer. I think it has medium coverage. Um, it feels very lightweight under my eyes. I look so yellow right now. I mean, for concealer, the real test for me is how it wears, but so far, I'm super into this concealer. Like, I think it looks super good, and it looks really smooth under my eyes. Sometimes with concealers, I can kind of see the bumps right here that are on my face. I really feel like they're blurred. So moving on, I did get the Baked Bronzer. I don't know how... I'm gonna open this. So I'm actually really excited for this because I love cream bronzers. I haven't been courageous enough to dip into that whole cream product thing that's going on right now. Oh my gosh, there's like sticky stuff at the bottom of this and I can't get the freaking product out. <laughs> But yeah, I have not really dug into the whole cream product vibe, but I do love a good cream bronzer. So I got baked. I even got the full size in this because I was pumped for it. On this side, I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend it out just to see how she blends. Okay, she's blending quite nicely. I love this. This is such a good color. It blends out really well. So definitely keeping this. I really, really like that. I am going to try and use a stipple brush as well. No. I really like it just applying it straight to my skin with a beauty blender or even just taking the beauty blender right on that. So beauty blender for the win for this product. And I just, I love the tone of this. I think it's really pretty. It's warming up my skin, but also giving it some shape and definition. And it's blending out very good too. So I've heard a lot of people talk good things about this bronzer and I get it, it's gorgeous. And also while I'm at it, since they don't really sell eyeshadow, I am just going to take some of that and just apply it into my crease for some definition. I'm like so obsessed with this, wow. So now we have a cheek color. This is the Work Lip and Cheek Stick. I should have opened these before filming because half of this footage is literally me struggling to open this. I'm also excited for this. I really wanna start getting into cream blushes more. I do have a couple that I do like. Super pumped for this. 
So with a stippling brush, it's really soft. So please keep in mind, I'm like such a noob to these types of like this easy cream makeup that I kind of feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Like for this, for example, I'm like, is it the color or is it me wiping my foundation off and the redness under my skin? Does anybody ever think about that? Um, like growing up, I used to always think blush is stupid because my cheeks are red to begin with. So why would I cover it up just to put some more redness on my face? But you know, this is actually quite nice. And I think what's really nice about it is it's just so light on the cheeks. And I do have dry skin, so the less I powder, the better. I do have some lipsticks, but I do just kind of want to see this as a lip color. Hmm. This is actually a really pretty lip color as well. Like a nice nudie pink. I actually really like this because this really looks like my skin that's flushing. Um, cool. I'm into this. Okay, so the next thing I got was the highlighter in Lit, their little highlight stick. Now, this was open in my bag. I don't know how that happened. It wasn't open when I bought it. But when I just went in to grab it from my bag, it was sitting open. So hopefully it's not dried out. Also, these small things are annoying because the sticker's over the twisty uppy. And I hate cream highlighters. So, okay. The reason I hate cream highlighters is because I feel like they break up my foundation underneath and they just ruin everything. I'm like smacking my face to blend this stuff out. But this actually leaves just like the most natural highlight. I'm gonna put some on my sponge. See? This is always the best way to apply it. So this is super duper natural. I don't know that I can necessarily get super into this product and like never use powder highlight again. Like that's not going to happen. I don't like this that much, but this did work and it looks, my skin looks really great right now. I look super pretty and like natural and fresh. Milk makeup. So far, everything I bought, I'm keeping, which is crazy. So next we have the blur and set powder. I got mine in translucent light and again I'm struggling to get this open. Hold on, hold on. I'm using scissors. Pray for me. So this powder actually seems to be quite popular. A lot of people like it and I love a good translucent powder so I'm just gonna, gonna blend out my under eyes but the concealer is sitting really pretty without being set by the way. Oh this is the one with the really smart packaging where it's like netting. I think I'm already keeping this. So just with this packaging I'm already obsessed with it because all you do is like you press onto this thing and it's like mess free almost and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes probably just took away all the glow from that highlight so I'll put more on I love this packaging okay so I don't know if you can see but some of my dryness right here is showing it's not bad it's not bad I'm actually just having like a really dry day today so I don't want to knock on that too much because that is kind of my fault but if you do have dry skin that powder did just kind of sink right in there my under eyes do look really really soft I don't know I'm confused I'm going to reapply a little bit more of a highlighter powder made it lose some of that glow it's acting really well over the powder as well so besides that little dry patch that's showing my skin looks really good and it feels really light and it looks very very natural so i did get one of their eye pigments i love products like these so i wanted to get so many colors but since i didn't know whether or not i liked them i only got one this is the shade after party it's like kind of a metallic pink i'm just gonna put that all over the lid Ooh! I love it. And this is why we put that bronzer down. So this is looking very, very frosty. Um, don't know that's really a look I would normally go for, but... So over here I have a thick layer on. Over here is a thinner layer. I'm gonna build that up a little bit. I don't know how different these are going to look on the lid from the other shades because... This is blending out to be quite a frosty shade and not necessarily as pink as it looked in the tube. I definitely like this though. It's just like a really easy way to get something on your lid that looks nice. And I'm just applying just a tiny bit more of that bronzer. I really like using this cream bronzer in the crease. I think it looks really awesome. So the next thing that I got, and you guys are so lucky because I wasn't going to get this because I literally do not have eyelashes. Uh, mascara just doesn't work for me but I felt very incomplete not using 
a mascara. So I got the Kush mascara. I almost bought the full size and then thank goodness I saw this little itty bitty in the little checkout aisle and this is really heavy and the packaging is feels really expensive for a mini one. So I'm not going to curl my lashes just because I never do. My eyelashes are straight and nothing works on them except waterproof mascara. So I'm just going to put these on my lashes really fast. I've heard good things about this mascara too so... Um, so this is with the first coat. It's quite lengthening. I wouldn't trust my mascara review. I'm not qualified to review mascaras because my lashes just don't carry mascara well. So I'm going to apply a second coat though, but it's just a mascara to me. I don't really notice anything. This is the second coat. I mean, it did lengthen and separate my lower lashes. The mascara, like I said, I'm not really going to speak on. Um, it didn't make me look like I have fake eyelashes, but nothing does. So... Yeah. So the last thing, I ordered these two online because they didn't have these in store yet. I picked up two of their new lipsticks. I actually was very curious about them and I'm so indecisive I couldn't pick one shade. So I got two. So the first one that I have here is Skills. Really pretty, nice magnetic packaging. And this is Skills. Oh, really creamy. Ooh. And it has like a magnetic clasp. <gasps> this is such a pretty peachy nude shade. Oh my gosh. I love it. Really creamy. Okay, I love this color and it really glid on my lips super easy. So again, that one was Skills and now we're going to apply Wifey, which is a lot deeper. This is my type of color too. So I really do like both of these colors. Skills is such a gorgeous nude. And this is one of those colors that I wear for just like every day when I want to liven up my face but not be too bright. The lipsticks feel very creamy. They're very pigmented. I'm super into these lipsticks. This is the completed look. I really am enjoying how I look. I think I look really fresh and really pretty and I'm just very satisfied so I'm going to kind of quickly go over everything. I'm not too sure about the Luminous Blur Stick. I do want to play with it some more. Um, I think it might be a little bit gimmicky. It did show through my foundation a little bit and did give a little bit of luminosity underneath that matte foundation but for $36 I don't know that it's worth it. The foundation I like it. It seems to be a very nice matte foundation. I think I will like this with a touch of oil in it and I mean it's not my perfect shade it's a little bit too golden for me but that's a, my own mistake but honestly when I was playing with their colors they didn't really have one that would match me so I needed something a little bit more neutral and they just didn't have it in my shade Kush fiber brow I really like this I don't own a lot of products like this I think it is a bit too wet for my preference so I'm going to have to adjust based on that but other than that I actually really really like this and I can see myself continue Continuing to purchase this. Then we have the baked bronzer. This is awesome. I think this might be my favorite thing in this whole video. I really do enjoy this. It blends beautifully and the color of it, perfection. The work lip and cheek color. I do like this. Um, I don't see myself using this product a ton but I am going to keep this because it is just like a little $14 mini sample and it just it looks very very natural and I do like the color of my lips as well. So I don't dislike this. I don't think it's that special, but it's okay. I do like it. The little mini highlighter in lit. Again, really, really natural. I don't think I'd ever replace my <laughs> powder highlighters with this, but it is nice. I don't know. I don't, it's not really lit. It, it just is what it is. Oh, I forgot to talk about the concealer. I really, really, really like this concealer. Um, I like the coverage on it. I like the finish of it. Really, really good from what I can tell so far anyways. The powder, I need to play with this some more. I'm not too sure. So many people like it and I don't think I love it, but I need to play around with it with more familiar products to me so I can really judge it and how it works. Eye pigment, I like. I do think it is a bit overpriced for what it is because it definitely sheared out. It is pretty. Um, I wouldn't mind playing with a couple other colors just to see if it's just this color that's really frosty or if all of them are and they blend out to be sheer. But I do think this is a bit overpriced. I think it would have been in their best interest to cut the amount of product in half and then cut the price in half as well because no one's ever going to use this much product anyway. So I think just cutting everything in half would have been perfect and then that would have been the exact right price point. The mascara, I have no eyelashes so I really don't know. And finally, 
the lipsticks. I really, really like these lipsticks. I like the two colors that I got, and they're really creamy. So, these were my first impressions. Um, I'm going to play with these some more, but for now, I am going to do a slight wear test. So, I don't think I'm going to go the full eight hours because it is just hitting 3 o'clock. It's 2.55, but I will wear this for at least six hours just to see how everything wears. But just so you guys know, I think I feel really, really pretty. Um, I feel very fresh, very natural. I'm really excited about this, so catch in the check-in. Hello, hello. Okay, so it is about 9 o'clock. I'm just going to tell you how the makeup wore. This isn't really a wear test, but I did just want to update you on how everything's looking if over time my opinions on things have changed. And honestly, my skin and my face look so good. It looks almost as good as when I applied it. Um, I'm definitely a little bit more shiny from my oils coming through, but not anything bad. It's just made me look more natural than anything. So for a matte foundation, I really like how this wears. It's not settling into my smile lines that bad. My eyebrows are in place. The only thing I will say is I did notice a little bit of flaking with the mascara. The eyeshadow eye pigment, it has not creased, which is awesome. It has lost a little bit of the reflectiveness, but honestly, I kind of prefer it a little worn down. It just looks a little less frosty. Of course, the lipstick came off. I've been eating, but I really do enjoy the lipsticks. They're very smooth, very creamy, very easy to apply, very lightweight on the lips. I mean, so overall, I'm just digging the overall vibe of this makeup. The concealer did crease a little, but nothing too bad. Like it it just looks natural. Everything looks really, really good. That being said, um, I'm going to continue to wear this makeup, kind of play around with it in my routine to see what I actually really, really do like and what I don't like so much and what I like to do with these products to maybe make them work better for me. So keep an eye out for an updates video. I'm going to start doing those. Um, it's on my list to do one very soon. Not for these products in particular, but just products in the past that I've already talked about. That being said, Milk definitely, it's not my favorite brand by any means, but they have some good stuff. But of course, you know, I'm all about liner, lashes, glitter, eyeshadow. Milk's just not that type of vibe, but they do have some really good pieces in their collection that um, I'm looking forward to continue playing with. So now I have a new brand that I cannot wait to purchase more releases from. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you've tried milk makeup and what some of your favorite products from them are. Let me know. I seriously want to know. I'm really into this brand now. So remember to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a great day.